Hello everybody and welcome to the class once again. You have been doing a lot of things in Japanese in the past lessons. Are you ready today for more Japanese? Well, we will do a lot of things. We will do new forms, we will do new kanji, we will learn about Japanese uh, festivals, also some proverbs and of course, vocabulary. But before that, as we always do, we will go over our assignments and let us see what the first assignment is. Well, the first assignment is very simple. You have done this, naide kudasai, please do not do a certain thing. How would you say that? So, the first picture is Tanaka san asking someone. Well, please do not ask. Kika naide kudasai. There is a second picture where someone is eating something. Taberu. Tabe naide kudasai. Please do not eat. Maybe the food is not good. Mazui or it is very old or not tasty. You can list those things up and ask your partner and answer. The third picture is someone feeling very, very low, very sad because of a broken heart. Well, he is crying. Naku, naka naide kudasai. Please do not cry. And then you have this picture in the end where Tanaka san is looking at beer, he is looking at tobacco which is cigarettes and then he is also looking at fish which is non-vegetarian. So, well he is not supposed to eat this. So, what does he say? Well, su is to smoke, sua nai de kudasai. So, well try saying te kudasai please do and nai de kudasai please do not do with your partner. The next assignment is a lot of pictures here in group 1 and then again lot of pictures here in this set over here. So, you are supposed to match these are opposites. Let me see if you have done it properly. Your words are takai and yasui. It is very cheap. Then nagai as in long and short. For a person's height, it is sega s e i and g a sega takai desu or sega hikui desu he is short. Then we have this picture over here of ocha. Why ocha? Because this is not a cup, this is a Japanese cup. So, ocha and you have some shake over here atsui and sumetai or you could also say atatakai, atatakai as in touch and sumetai as in touch. Then you have for this person is eating and making a face and well we have this person very happy and licking his lips. So, oishi kunai, oishi or you could also say mazui, not tasty and oishi. Then the next one is this place is very small, this is semai and the opposite is hiroi, very, very spacious. Then you have someone watching TV, not very happy with the program or the news. So, sumaranai, T S U M A R A N I, sumaranai, it is with a T sound, sumaranai. And then he is laughing, watching a serial, laughing. Serial is a bangumi, very, very happy, ureshi or omo shiroi. The bangumi is omo shiroi. Bangumi wa omo shiroi desu. Then we have in the end someone feeling very cold with a cap and a coat, and someone very, very hot over here. So, well, samui and atsui as in weather. Now, these are the adjectives given. Well, as we always do again, we have A and B columns match A with B. These are the kanji characters and in 
hiragana this time instead of roman. So, let me see if you are practicing your hiragana as well. So, I hope you are able to do this. So, well let us see what we have in the first one. Nihonjin wa nande tabemasu ka? Nande is by what? Means. Hako no mikan wa ikura desu ka? How much? Watashi tachi wa doko de densha ni norimasu ka? Where will we get into the train? Tomodachi no tanjoubi ni nani o agemasu ka? Agemasu is to give. Then kaigi shitsu wa nan kai desu ka? So, well you will see that nani and nan both mean what? Nani is to be used with things where places where you do not have numbers most of the time. So, well nan is for kai number of stories. So, that is how nan is being used. So, now you can see the difference between nan and nani where it is basically going to be used meaning is exactly the same. Now, dare to picnic e ikimasu ka? Tanjoubi wa itsu desu ka? Gakko ni gakusei wa nan nin imasu ka? And again you will see nan is used with numbers. Nin is for people. How many people? Dono kaban wa anata no desu ka? And in the end we have nekutai wa doko desu ka? So, well you have question words over here. You can see the difference in all of them over here and you can practice. Well, as we always do, listen to this conversation between A and B. There are a few new things. We will try to cover them in class now. Rao san, raigetsu indo e kaerimasu ka? Sou desu. Raigetsu no jusan nichi desu. Dore gurai desu ka? Sanshukan desu. Obaasan to ojisan ni mo au kara chotto nagai desu. Omiyage o kaimashita ka? Hai, kaimashita. Demo imoto wa mada desu. Jitsu wa watashi wa kamera o kaitai desu ga imoto wa nihon ningyo ga daisuki desu kara hoshigatte imasu. Ja, ryoho katte kudasai. Demo ningyo no mise shiranai kara Ima komatte masu. Ah, so desu ka. Ja, chotto matte ne. Tomodachi ni kiite miru. Rao san, daijobu desu yo. Tomodachi wa mise o shitte iru kara go an nai shimasu. Ah, arigato. Onegai shimasu. So, it is a little longish, but the sentence construction is very simple. You have done all of them. Over here you will notice in the fourth line that there are two particles used together, which we have not done so far, ni and mo. Ni over here is for imas, which means to meet and mo you have already done, which means also. Ni mo together means I have also to meet my grandparents, thus my holiday is a little nagai, it is a little longish. Omiyage o kaimashita ka? Hai kaimashita. Demo but imoto wa mada desu. For my sister, I have not bought anything as yet. Jitsu wa actually speaking, watashi wa kamera o kaitai desu ga imoto wa nihon ningyo ga daisuki desu kara hoshigatte imasu. I want to buy a camera but my sister likes Japanese dolls. Thus, I have to buy a doll for her and she is wanting a Japanese doll from me. Thus, I have to buy a Japanese doll for her. So, B san says in that case, well why do not you buy both ryoho camera as well as a doll. Ryoho katte kudasai buy both, but demo Ningyo no mise, Japanese doll shop, I do not know. Thus, I am a little worried now. 
Komatte imasis, I am a little worried. You do not have to be worried. Aso desu ka, ja chotto matte ne. Wait for a minute. Tomodachi ni kiite miru. Now, so far you have done mas form always in the end, but over here you can see the sentence ends with miru, which is a plain form. So, well, when you are talking to your friends in informal situation, you may use miru instead of mas form in the end as well. Rao san daijobu desu yo. After 5 minutes, after talking, he comes back again and he says, Rao san daijobu desu yo. Tomodachi wa mise o shitte iru kara. He knows the mise, thus he will guide us. And Rao san obviously says, arigato. So, well, lot of new things over here. We will practice right away. This is in the script, of course. You can go over this. I keep repeating this again and again. But this is not a literal translation of what is given in the conversation. This is just what you would say in English. Now, look at this picture and let us see what Tanaka san wants. Picture is the same which we did previously, that was for oneself. What you want, Hoshi. Now, this is for third person, let us see what it is. Mariko san wa megane o hoshigatte imasu. Tanaka san wa boshi o hoshigatte imasu. Boshi. Now, we have Michiko san wa okane o hoshigatte imasu. And A san wa camera o hoshigatte imasu. B san wa computer o hoshigatte imasu. So, you can practice hoshi and hoshigatte imas like this. Now, there was another word over there in the conversation which was suki. Suki means like and the way it is pronounced in Japanese is ski. So, it sounds like skiing, but it is not skiing, it is to like someone or to like something. There is a small conversation here, A san and B san. Rao san wa nani ga suki desu ka? Nani ga again, because you are asking choice. You are asking what someone likes. Watashi wa ice cream ga suki desu. I like ice cream. Ja, ice cream wo tabemashou. Let's have ice cream. So, well, you can replace ice cream for anything, ice cream over here for chocolate, pizza, ringo, beer, wine, burger, anything. Watashi wa chocolate ga suki desu. Watashi wa pizza ga suki desu. Tanaka san wa pizza ga suki desu ka? Iie, watashi wa spaghetti ga suki desu. So, you can make small conversation like this using any of these. Now, in our last lesson, we had done nani. You have done this interrogative word doko, meaning where. So, there are lot of things listed over here. You can see how to use and what it means, what are the combinations. So, well, doko e ikimasu ka? Kaisha e ikimasu. Doko e mo ikimasen. I will not go anywhere. E and mo we have already done once. This is just a revision for you. Doko e mo ikimasen. Nowhere. Doko e mo ikimasen. Doko ka e ikimasu ka? Doko ka? Somewhere e ikimasu ka? Doko e mo ikimasen. Doko e mo ikitaku nai. I do not want to go anywhere. Doko ka somewhere. Doko ga ii desu ka? Where do you think is a good place to go? Doko de mo ii desu. Anywhere is all right. Place x ga ii desu. You name a place 
you specify a location and you say this place is very very good. Doko e ikitai desu ka? Where do you want to go? Doko e mo ikitaku nai. So we will do doko as doko emo will take a negative. Doko emo iki masen. Nowhere. Doko ka e iki mas ka doko ka somewhere. And then doko demo this anywhere is all right doko e mo nowhere doko ka somewhere and doko demo anywhere so you can use them like this as it is given over here you can ask questions and answer and practice your small dialogue Now, in our last lesson, as I told you earlier, we did Thai form of the verb, which is I want to do something. Over here, we are doing Hoshi, that I want something. I want a noun. Over there, we are using a verb in Thai form. There is a small picture here, you can see Tanaka san over here or Taro kun over here, and he wants to go hiking with Mariko san. So, well, let us see what it is. Nani o shitai desu ka? Hiking e ikitai. Hiking o shitai. Mariko san to issho ni hiking e ikitai. Then she is thinking, kutsu o kaitai. Nani o kaitai desu ka? Kutsu o kaitai. Or nani ga hoshi desu ka? Atarashi kutsu ga hoshi desu. Atarashi kutsu wo kaitai. So, you can practice like this. Simple, you can see the difference between tai form and hoshi. One is a verb form, and one over here you want something. It is a personal desire that you want a certain object. There is an expression here this gentleman has eaten too much, he is totally full, cannot eat any more, and what does he say? Ah, Onaka ippai desu. Onaka is stomach. Ippai is have had too much. It's full. Ah, onaka ippai desu. Then, yoku tabemashita. As I told you earlier, takusan and yoku. Yoku, he has had a lot to eat. But you cannot count how much. Yoku and takusan is can be counted and measured. Mo taberare nai. Mo taberare masen. This is the form that we did last time. Taberare masen. Taberare nai. I cannot eat any more. Mo taberare nai. I cannot eat any more now. Why? Onaka ippai desu. Onaka is stomach. Ippai is full. You can use these expressions freely, they will make you comfortable with the language and you meet a Japanese, try to use these. It gives a good feeling, breaks the ice and you can make friends easily. Now, as I always do, we will do kanjis. You have done these four kanjis that I am going to do now with you, seasons. You saw the kanjis in the pictures, we will do these kanjis now. The first one is haru. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Haru. So, please remember this is long, this is a little short, longest of them all like this, from here, from the second one like this, like this and Nichi over here, this makes it Haru. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and Q. This is Haru. Let us see how many strokes are there to Haru. Well, it is a 9 stroke character, Haru and Shun. There are two readings to it. You can only concentrate on Haru, that would be just fine. Then we have Natsu for you. Again, 
this is a simple character like this, one you have done ichi, then you have done me, then like this nuts. So, once more 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. It is a 10 stroke character. Nuts. Now, what do we have after this? We have Aki. Aki is autumn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you have he over here 6, 7, 8 and 9. Once again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. It is a 9 stroke character. Let us see 9 Aki and Shu. Then we have Fuyu which is winter 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It is a 5 stroke character. So, you can see now all these 4 kanji characters together. We have Haru, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi, Kyu, Haru, Natsu, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi, Kyu, Ju, Natsu, then Aki, 1, 2, 3, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku, Nana, Hachi and Kyu. And then we have Fuyu, Ichi, Ni, San, Shi and Go. There are a lot of words. You have done Natsu Yasumi, you have done Haru Yasumi, you have done Fuyu Yasumi. So, all these words are there. You can practice these words. You know the words, you can now do the kanji as well. Now, four seasons we did last time. There is another season that the Japanese talk about and that is Tsuyu, which is monsoon. So, there is monsoon also before the summer and this is the character for monsoon and we are going to talk about the monsoon festival today which is Tanabata later, but before that we need to complete our kanji. So, this you have all four together. Shunka Shuto Haru Natsu Aki Fuyu. Shunka Shuto all the year round, all through. You have something, then you say Shunka Shuto. So, you can just remember this word, it is interesting, that is all. Then there are some kanji characters here for you. The kanjis that we have done, words you know, I have given the kanji Natsu Yasumi. Natsumono. Natsumono is clothes, summer clothes. Then Shuki, autumn air. Ritto, first day of winter. Now, this character, though I have not done, this means also to stand up. So, you can, it is a simple character, you can remember it. Rika, start of summer, then Akikaze is autumn breeze and Fuyu Yasumi is winter holidays. So, these are some words you can use in sentences, it will be good. Then this time we will do the Ma series, Ma, you can see Mi, you have three, it goes from here 1, 2 and 3 like this, me, just 3 simple lines, me, mu, 2 lines over here, this is 1 and 2. Generally, you draw with brush, you make with brush, so it becomes very difficult to lift it here. So, you just drag it like this and 2, me, mu and me. 
may as in eyes may see the stroke order this one is not first this one is first and then this one as you need to end your character on the right bottom corner of the square. Then we have mo 1, 2 and 3. And now, you have all of them here in front of you. You can see how the stroke order is done, how clearly it is shown and you can practice like this. Practice on a graph sheet or maths copy which has squares, big squares in it. It will make your character very, very proportionate. We have been doing proverbs and as, as I have been telling you proverbs tell us about a country, about what people think, how they behave, how they interact and proverbs tell you about the thinking of the people of that country. It is very cultural. It has a long, long history to it. Whatever the proverb may be, it comes from something that has happened back some time and very smartly that is being used, very intelligently that is being used to tell something in short, convey something in very, very short. Koto means word and waza means the art of using those words very intelligently and conveying in short. Now, this is a koto waza which tells you a lot about the Japanese people and you can see a car, this road over here, there is a small bridge. What does the koto waza say? Where it says, Isogaba maware. Isogaba maware. What does it mean? Well, it means that however much you are in a hurry, wherever you want to go, when in a hurry, always think again. Do not take a short route. Stop and think whether it is the best thing to do or not. Always take a longer route. The shortcut may not be very good, it may not serve its purpose, it may not be very helpful. So, always whenever in a hurry, whenever you want to do things in a rushed manner, well always do what is to be done. That is what the proverb says. Isogu means to hurry, maware means detour. So, this is what the Japanese are. Whatever the temptation, always take the correct route, do it properly. In the end, we have well vocabulary, there is lots of it, you can go over it, see there are words, new words here, you can see the meanings and use them in sentences. Now, I had told you that I am going to tell you about Tanabata about this festival, monsoon festival, which is celebrated in Japan during this time. So, there is Kaminari, which is thunder, there is rain, which is Ame, and this is Tanabata, what they do during this time. So, well, Tanabata, the kanji character, the pictogram is like this, seven, Tana and evening. So, this is this is the character for Tanabata. You can see very clearly this means the seventh evening. So, Tanabata is a monsoon festival and why Tanabata in monsoon is because Japan was an agrarian society and everything depended on agriculture and monsoon is the time when you sow your rice um, fields, you uh, plant rice during that time and naturally when you are planting something, you would want to satisfy the gods, you would want to offer something nice, you would like to pray to them for a good crop. So, this was the time when they would hang small offerings, give small offerings to the gods and pray for a good crop. 
now slowly over a period of time this changed and everybody started doing it, even children started doing it. And they started uh, during this time praying to God that they would get good marks, could write good, could write nicely, could write kanji nicely, properly, want more money than you hang a purse or something uh, on the trees. Now, the tree that was available or the bush or the shrub grass that was available or is available during this time mainly is bamboo and every house would have a bamboo tree, bamboo grass bush. So, they would hang whatever little offering was there on the um, bamboo shoot and uh, it would be displayed outside the house. So, that was done earlier. Of course, now it is done in a very, very big way and as you can see it is celebrated now, it is celebrated on the 7th of July every year. Earlier it was celebrated from the 7th of July till the 7th of August. Of course, there, there are lot of stories associated with this and the main story as you can see is from a Chinese folklore and uh, the folklore is about Orihime, who is the daughter, the princess of the god of heaven, who is Tentei and she weaves cloth for her father, which is very beautiful and he loves it, but she weaves it the whole day and he asks her to weave so much that she is unable to meet anyone. She is very depressed over it and very saddened. So, seeing this her father introduces her to this gentleman here, Hikoboshi, who is the cowherd and when they meet, they immediately fall in love and they get married. Once they get married, then Hikoboshi and Orihime both do not do what they are supposed to do. Orihime does not weave cloth, she forgets about weaving and Hikoboshi forgets about taking his cows for grazing. So, Tente, he is the emperor, he is the big man, he is the king. So, he gets very angry with his daughter and his son-in-law and he separates them that uh, you have not done your duty well and you cannot live together. Of course, she weeps and weeps and weeps as one can imagine and taking pity on her. Then they decides that okay, they will meet once a year and that is when actually Tanabata takes place that is the seventh day of the seventh moon or the lunar calendar and everybody celebrates it in a big, big way in Japan. To celebrate this, the Japanese write their wishes as I told you earlier in on sheets of paper and hang them on. Uh, bamboo shoots and uh, they hang different things for, for different wishes. Lot of origami is hung, generally 1000 crane uh, garlands are hung for, for good health, for long life, for purses are hung for money, then kimono charms are hung for diseases and accidents and lot of other things are also done and you will see the bamboo shoot over here with lot of streamers and lot of red, pink, orange, blue all kinds. The good thing here is that whatever is written is for, for good health, for long life, for children writing, for uh, money, for, um, for good uh, marks, but generally you will notice that people nobody writes, nobody hangs anything or writes for money. That is cultural that is not done. You have these streamers here, this is a celebration in 2010 in Tokyo. The bamboo shoots are here, you can see these streamers, these signify the thread used for weaving by Orihime and lot of uh, celebration, lot of gaiety is there and people eat good food, meet people, go out in their traditional dress which is the kimono. Of course, this is Yugata, which the ladies wear with these wooden sandals, 
which are called geta. It is very hot, so this kimono is very, very good and can take the heat. It is Natsu Yasumi, which is holiday time. Children have sports functions, they have these undokais and they enjoy a lot. A lot of hanabi is done, which is firecrackers and the whole family enjoys during this festival. Prayers are done and all these small paper is hung, whatever they want to ask, they ask and always enjoy with family. So, this is about Tanabata. You can read more on the net. You can, the pictures are all from the net, they are from Google. So, you can Google them up, all the links are given. You can see and uh, see the different versions of the legend. Different places have different endings, different way uh, Tente has treated his daughter Orihime, what she does and how the magpies help her or how um, she, whatever she has done, you can see and learn more about Tanabata. So, well, now after this, you have your assignments, your Shukudai, you can see the kanji over here. There is lots to do today. Then we have done this earlier. Look at these pictures carefully and see what festival it is, what is done during the festival and write a small sakubun on this festival, match group A with group B, tell about the seasons. So, well now in the end, you have your listening comprehension. Just listen to this very carefully and then the exercise is there. You have to do that exercise. So, this is a conversation between A and B. Let us see what the conversation is. Rao san, kyo wa atsui desu ne. Nodo ga kawakimashita. Nani ka nomitai desu. Ice tea o nomimasu ka? Kocha o nomimasu ka? Sumetai mono wa nomemasen. Atsui mono o nomimasu. Kocha o tsukurimashou ka? Kocha wa dou yatte tsukurimasu ka? Watashi wa wakaranai. Kantan desu yo. Mazu nabe ni mizu o irete kudasai. Juppun gurai mizu o wakashite kudasai. Juppun ato nabe ni kocha no hapa mo irete kudasai. Sore kara koppu ni sato to milku o irete tsukutta kocha o irete kudasai. Saigo ni spoon de mazete kudasai. それでは、こちらが出来上がりました。どうぞ、飲んでみてください。いい気持ちですね。こちらは美味しいですよ。I hope you all could understand. This was about making tea. So well, try to listen to it carefully and then fill in the blanks using the words given below. Try to remember your dialogue and then try to fill these blank spaces. Well, this was your Shukudai for today and you can practice what we have done today, what we have done previously and try to do small conversation, think up of a situation, do conversations with your partner and then we will meet next time again and try to do something new. Till then, Thank you and mata aimashou.